All right, today is, what is today? Today is Tuesday, September 1st. August Audience? 31st. Oh, never mind. it's August 31st. But we are here at Mall of America in Minnesota. Yep. Minneapolis or Bloomington or whatever yeah. this little city is called. And we're going to check out Nickelodeon. Yeah. Nickelodeon Universe. We almost just got hit by a car. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so we both have never been here before, so we're both getting new exciting credits. So let's see what this place is all about. Ooh. This is it. There it is. Not open yet, but uh, and this is the log flume that's closed. Oh man. Here it is. You can't see a lot of there it goes. Wow, so first impressions. It looks interesting. Not quite as great as the uh, New Jersey location. Not as grand of an entrance. Well, this might not be the entrance, well, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool though, so I'm still yeah, excited. Yeah, me too. I can't see the SpongeBob ride though. I wonder where that is. We are starting it off super huge today with my 474th and Brennan's 313th yeah. with uh, back at the Barnyard Hayride. This one looks absolutely wild. All right, so we just got off of back at the Barnyard Hayride and was that ride amazing? It was really cool. Almost as good as Coco Cruiser at Hershey Park, but not quite there yet. And tiny next, to yeah, Tiny Dude at Silverwood. Haven't done that one yet, but I'm going to eventually. And now we're gonna hit Avatar Airbender for 475 and 314. All right, so that was the Avatar Airbender. It's super fun. It's like a spinning, better version of the like pirate, sh the swinging pirate ship ride. Almost like a little tiny Wicked Twister, but I mean, it doesn't have any choice. But it spins. It's like a Wicked Spinner. But now, what are we doing next? Uh, Pandemonium. Either Pandemonium, Fairly Odd Coaster. Fairly Odd or, Coaster. Uh, Ooh. Let's see if this fairly odd coaster. Oh, I see it spinning with somebody on it. Ooh, fairly odd coaster for number four seventy six. We just did the Fairly Odd Coaster, and it was fairly odd because it was not exactly like the Pandemonium Club. No, very slow. Yeah, and, but it was fun. We did get stapled, and I don't know, it was okay. Yeah, let's take a look at the flume. All right. Ooh, look at that sun effect. Oh my, oh, 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 oh. All right, well, this is the log flume. Unfortunately, it is closed. There is nothing wrong with it. It's just that they need four people to run it and they do not have that much staff. So they've just decided not to run it, which is sad. Here comes the Pepsi Orange Streak. Credit number 477 for me. And 316 for Brennan, okay. We're almost done with all the credits at this park already. Saving this is like pretty last. fast. Yeah, saving the best for last. I don't know if there's any clones of it exactly, but it'll be cool. It'll be fun. Super cool. Pepsi on street. All right, so we just got off of the Pepsi orange streak and oh my God, was that, that was amazing. Like I would say it's a, it's a combination of Jaguar, but like 
indoor beast from King's Island. <laughs> so like it had some theming. Yeah, it had we theming. It's got two lift hills. Yep. It's got laterals. Yeah. It's got single helixes. They have and Ooh, I don't even know what that is. What? Is that like a shooting ride? I'm guessing. I think it is. We could try that out. Ooh, but yeah, it was really fun. Maybe fourth best ride in the park. No, third best. Here. Third best. And now, wow, wow, it's time for the main event tent tent. SpongeBob Rock Bottom Plunge. Oh my god, look at how scared they are. This is like that one episode where they went to the theme park and they had to ride the roller coaster. That was crazy. Except this doesn't look as crazy. But it does have this possibly beyond vertical drop. I mean, look at that thing way up there. Plunging all the way to rock bottom down here. So we just did the SpongeBob SquarePants Rock Bottom Plunge, and it was okay. It was okay. Nothing like a shell razor at Nickelodeon Universe in New Jersey. Yeah, I wish this had lap bars. Yeah, I wish it was an infinity coaster and it not a Eurofighter. It would rival um, like the Adrenaline Peak, Hydrus, maybe Daredevil Dive. Probably oh. Daredevil Dive. Those have black nah, not Daredevil Dive. Not Daredevil Dive. Oh, Adrenaline Peak has black one? Yes, so does Hydra. Oh. Huh. Hydra? It does? I think. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't remember. But, yeah, it was okay. It was fun. Would I do it again? Probably. Would I come back here yeah, yeah, for it? Again. No. I would not come back here for that ride. Yeah, maybe the log though. Yeah, I think my favorite ride so far has actually been Avatar Airbender, followed by Fairly Odd Coaster. And then rock bottom plunge. How about you, Brennan? Um, I'd probably say rock bottom plunge. The drop was fun. Uh, yeah. It was just a little jerky in some moments, but I guess if you keep your head forward, it's really not that bad. Yeah, I mean, um, it's got over the shoulder restraints. It's got weird transitions. Um, the speed hill was actually kind of. Oh, yeah, it did have like a little speed airtime hill. Decent. Um, yeah, that was cool. Uh, oh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, so not a bad ride. It's a good ride. Yeah. It's just the that park, yeah. there's a lot better out there. So, it's fun. But we got all the credits, and that's what matters. Five more in the books, and soon we'll get even more. So, here we go. Now we can do all the flat rides, like that thing. And then we'll also walk around the actual mall, because I guess this mall is a pretty good one. And you can leave and re-enter. Ooh, unlike the New Jersey location. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna leave and re-enter as many times as we want, just because we can. Because yeah. you're, you got even more freedom here. It's crazy. We're about to do this shooting Ghost Blasters. Do you think you're gonna win? Oh. Might have a learning curve, so maybe. A learning curve? Oh, hey, you're I, gonna win? I've only done like two of these. Uh, we'll I think I'm gonna win. I'm competitive though, so we'll see. I don't know. 1380 for Brennan, 960 for Byron. You okay, win. Good job here, 1380. All right, 17, 20, and like 660 60 for yeah. Brennan. But I think what we've noticed Plus is. Side. The left side of this ride, the guns just do not work as well because there's no way that Brennan no, was going to go from a 13 something to a 660. Yeah. That's crazy. So. And you got like what, 9 something to 9 something to 17, yeah. 20? Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. Something with it. So we don't know who won. Eh. It was a tie. Well, I'd say he won. Good he job. Won. You won on both sides. Yeah. You uh, did good. Well, okay. either way, Rick. Yeah. Yeah. It's not working. I wouldn't try it. Yeah. Don't recommend. 
I'm just kidding. Oh, it's, it's still fun. fun. Yeah, it's still it's, fun. It's worth it if you have the unlimited. Yeah, if you have the wristband. I wouldn't but... pay the six points for it. But no. Yeah. Unless you're going to sit on the left side and not tell the other person. Yeah. Otherwise, oh, no, don't do it. the right side. The right side is oh, the worst one. The right side is the bad one. Yeah, but. Only you know that. Yeah, still fun. Well, we are finally leaving that awful place. I'm just kidding. Nah. All right, we're heading out from Nickelodeon Universe at Mall of America in Bloomington, Minnesota. And that was a pretty, pretty cool park. I mean, it's, it, I think it's great for an indoor park. Yeah. Is it my favorite park in Minnesota? Maybe not. It is mine right now. Yeah, it's Brennan's favorite park in Minnesota so far. <laughs> but tomorrow we get to go to Valley Fair and maybe you might like that park better. Uh, maybe. Yeah. It's going to be hotter. Well, do I like Dorney better than that? Yeah, probably. Oh, if okay. Valley Fair, if Valley Fair is better than Dorney, then I definitely would like it better than this place. Yeah, but it was still fun. Good park. Great yeah, collection so, yeah. of rides. All that matters is it was fun. Yeah, and it wasn't um, too crowded, which was actually pretty good. I will say, I wouldn't be surprised if that log flume would have been like my favorite. Oh, yeah. The log flume was um, closed. I do think Rock Bottom Plunge might have been a little bit disappointing Ooh. like not quite as good as i was expecting not that i was expecting yeah. it to like blow me away but was but... it your favorite ride in the park probably yeah my favorite ride in the park was i think the fairly odd coaster it's definitely my favorite uh least favorite or sorry you're a oh probably mine too i guess That's i like fine. mystery mine the best no second mm -hmm. best i don't know but yeah it was a fun park would i come back Maybe if they build a new roller coaster. Or for the log flume if I'm in the area. Yeah. But I wouldn't make a special trip here. No. But, I don't know, we'll see. So tomorrow we got Valley Fair. Yeah. And we'll see how that compares. All right.